Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, white square uh, D E F G fully inscribed uh, in a blue right triangle uh, A B C, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the hypotenuse uh, A C of this uh, blue right triangle is uh, 12 times uh, square root of 2 units. And moreover, uh, this uh, angle is uh, 45 uh, degrees and likewise this angle is uh, 45 degrees uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region, this area, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this uh, triangle is an isosceles triangle since this angle uh, is uh, congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, AB is going to be equal to this side length uh, BC. I'm going to label uh, this side length as lowercase a. Then this other side length is going to be lowercase a as well. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 12 times square root of 2, whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase a and lowercase a as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, a square equals to 12 times uh, square root of 2 whole square. And if we simplify, we are going to get uh, 2a square equals to 288. And we are going to divide both sides by 2. 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, uh, a square turns out to be equal to 144. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our lowercase a value turns out to be 12 units. So therefore, uh, this lowercase a value turns out to be 12 and likewise uh, this a value is 12 as well. So thus we can see that our AB and BC length uh, turns out to be 12. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times the base times the height. And in our case, our base is uh, 12 and the height is 12 as well. So therefore, our triangle ABC area is going to become a half times 12 times 12. And if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us 72. So thus the triangle ABC area turns out to be 72 square units. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now let's make an observation in this uh, yellow right triangle. This angle is 45 degrees. Uh, this angle is 90 degrees. Uh, so therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, white uh, square. So that means uh, all these uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees each. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 45 uh, degrees since this angle is 90 degrees so this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well and likewise uh, in this uh, yellow right triangle if this angle is 45 degrees uh, then this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well so therefore we can see that all of these uh, yellow triangles uh, are uh, isosceles triangles and in this uh, next step i am going to draw the diagonals uh, for this uh, white square as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore, all uh, of these uh, angles are going to be 45 degrees uh, each. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped these uh, perpendiculars uh, in this uh, yellow right triangle and this uh, perpendicular as well. So therefore, uh, these angles are going to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And now let's make an observation in this uh, white uh, square. We can see these uh, four uh, triangles are uh, congruent uh, triangles. And in this uh, square, we can see this uh, triangle is congruent to this triangle. 
likewise this uh, triangle is congruent as well and finally this triangle uh, this triangle and this triangle are uh, congruent as well so therefore we are ended up with the uh, nine of these uh, triangles one two three four five six seven eight and nine uh, congruent uh, triangles out of which uh, one two three four and five uh, of these are uh, yellow triangles so therefore uh, we can write uh, the yellow shaded uh, area is going to be equal to 5 divided by 9 times the area of the whole uh, triangle uh, ABC and we already figured out our triangle ABC area is 72 so I'm going to substitute uh, that uh, area value 72 over here so therefore I can write uh, 5 divided by 9 times uh, 72 and if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 40 square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 40 square units uh, by using our very first method and now I am going to share with you the second method and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, yellow shaded region uh, is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, triangle ABC we are talking about this uh, whole uh, triangle uh, ABC area minus uh, the area of this uh, white uh, square. We are talking about uh, this uh, white square area. And now we can see we already figured out our uh, triangle ABC area is uh, 72. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, white uh, square. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, FBE. And now we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is 45 degrees and likewise this angle is 45 degrees as well. I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, FB as uh, X and then this uh, segment BE is going to be X uh, as well for this isosceles triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that in this uh, triangle uh, ABC, if this side length is 12 uh, and this side length is 12 as well, then this uh, hypotenuse is going to be 12 times square root of 2. And we are going to apply the same analogy on this uh, tiny triangle FBE as well. If this side length is X uh, and this side length is X, uh, then this uh, hypotenuse uh, FE is going to be x times the square root of 2 and since we are dealing with this uh, square all the sides are uh, equal now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, cde and we can see this is an isosceles triangle as well since this angle is congruent to this uh, angle so therefore uh, this side length uh, ed is going to be equal to this side uh, cd if this side length is x times square root of 2 then this side is going to be x times uh, square root of 2 as well and furthermore let's make an observation we can see this whole uh, side uh, bc is uh, 12 and this segment uh, be is uh, x so therefore uh, this segment uh, ec is going to be 12 uh, minus uh, x and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 12 minus x whereas uh, our two other legs are x times square root of 2 and likewise x times square root of 2 as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so we got uh, x times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square plus likewise uh, x times square root of 2 whole uh, square is going to be equal to 12 minus x uh, whole uh, square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 2x square plus likewise 2x square is going to be equal to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply this identity on the right hand side so therefore this could be written as 144 minus 24x plus x square and now we are going to move all these terms 
to the other side as you can see in this uh, next step and in this uh, next step I have combined these uh, like terms and now I am going to divide each uh, and every term uh, by 3 across uh, the board to make our job simple so therefore this is going to give us uh, x uh, square plus uh, 8 uh, x minus uh, 48 uh, equal to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation x square plus 8x minus uh, 48 equal to 0. So therefore uh, this quadratic equation could be written as uh, a factor of uh, x minus 4 times uh, x uh, plus 12 and that is going to be equal to 0. Let's separate these two factors. So we got uh, x minus 4 equal to 0 and the other factor x plus 12 equal to 0. For this uh, first equation x value turns out to be positive 4. For the second value of x is going to be negative 12. And now we can see x equal to negative 12 value is not feasible since x is our side length. So therefore we are going to reject this x equal to negative 12 value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 4 value and since our x value turns out to be 4 so therefore uh, the side length of this uh, square is going to be x times square root of 2 is going to become 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, white uh, square let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s is the side length of the square and in our case the side length of the square is 4 times square root of 2 so therefore the area of this uh, white square is going to be 4 times square root 2 whole uh, square and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 32 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of the yellow shaded region we already figured out uh, our triangle ABC area as 72 and the white square area as 32 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks we got uh, 72 minus uh, 32 is going to give us uh, 40 square units so thus the area of the yellow shaded region turns out to be 40 square units by using the second method as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye